It takes a certain type of person to put a maddeningly difficult puzzle together. And as Rita Braver discovered, it takes a particularly diabolical sort of person to create one. The pieces seem to fall in place so easily. Here we go. But don't be fooled. Uh oh. It's okay. Not uh -oh. a fat. Uh -oh. Just goes right into the edge, and that drives people crazy. We are talking about some of the toughest jigsaw puzzles a devious mind could ever devise for puzzle lovers. It, well, it is wonderfully sadomasochistic because they actually pay me to drive them crazy. Welcome to Stave Puzzles of Norwich, Vermont. Named 33 years ago for its two founders, Steve and Dave, Stave is now owned solely by Steve. So this is the showroom. Steve yeah. Richardson, now, a former computer analyst who has merrily concocted his wooden puzzles. You've got just drawers full of these things. With tricks you won't find in your average jigsaw puzzle. Take one of his favorite devices, the phony edge piece. Look at this piece here. That looks like an edge piece, right? Yeah, really? Yeah. So, but look where it goes. It goes right into the center of the puzzle. And that drives people crazy. This is my most famous trick jigsaw puzzle. The secret of the blue sea monster? There's 44 pieces and it goes together 32 different ways. <laughs> but there's only one correct solution. So now tell me about this puzzle. This puzzle has a, uh, a somewhat sordid history. Ah, uh, this is my, the ultimate debacle here. This is a puzzle I created uh, over 20 years ago, an April Fool's puzzle. It's called Five Easy Pieces, so I decided to try. Okay, see, now you're trying to jam it, so right. it won't fit. And that's what drives people, drove people right. crazy. It was intentional. You mean In fact, the joke is, there's no solution. It made his customers so mad. I gave him all their money back and pulled it off the market. Richardson has to satisfy his customers. Stave puzzles don't come cheap. What's the price range of your puzzles? Well, basically for the lower end puzzles for us, $125 to $500. And for the big prints, $500 to $5,000. This one, actually a set, goes for about $18,000. But you begin to understand the prices as you watch Richardson and his 21 employees at work. He does the first designs on the computer, then meets with an artist to talk about design and layout. That looks really slick. Expert cutters create a prototype of each design. All right, Marcia, there's the puzzle of the day. Then, believe it or not, it's time for the professional puzzle tester. Now we've got to figure out how to finish it off so it yeah. is appealing. The finished designs are transferred onto cherry-backed wood. Then the final puzzle is cut, freehand. No two puzzles come out exactly alike. About 3,500 puzzles are made each year, and every one contains a special piece shaped like the stave jester, signed with the date and the cutter's initials. Just to make things trickier, unlike most puzzles, a stave box cover doesn't show you how the completed puzzle should look. What you can't... Oh, God. <laughs> if I saw that, I don't know. I would just <laughs> say I can't even think about it. No picture. You expressed horror at the, the sight of this when the stave customers say, oh, my God. This is so exciting. Stave puzzle fans include everyone from Bill Gates to Barbara Bush to Queen Elizabeth. And Richardson has established relationships with some of his best customers, like Lorinda Bray of Irwindale, California, so, whose day yeah. job is restoring yeah. carousel horses. This is quite a stash you've got. Why, well, thank you. The two have never met, but Bray finds herself chuckling over Richardson's tricks. And I just think, that's Steve. I tell you, he is just such a nasty boy, you know, <laughs> devil in his soul. 
Ray owns about 70 stave puzzles. Do you want to figure out how much money you've spent no, on them? <laughs> we'd be upset. Among her favorites, no surprise, a three-dimensional carousel. Each horse also a miniature puzzle. Well, the whole thing is perfect. It's a true duplication of Martha's Vineyard Carousel. One of her most difficult puzzles is this one, called Turtle Soup, where the inside pieces have to go together without the usual links. In your mind, how do you think stave puzzles will be viewed by generations to come? I think they'd be treasured. This one was for Alex, who ran the New York Marathon. In West Caldwell, New Jersey, so Joe Dupree and her daughter, Alex Colby, know why. Both of my daughters lived in New York City, so this was given to my other daughter. Their extended family owns about a hundred stave puzzles, many custom made, like this composite of all the invitations for Alex's pre-wedding parties. It's loaded with special pieces known as silhouettes. These are like a couple of pieces put together that make the church. So sometimes you don't enjoy it till you actually see. Right, and then you sort of get a little laugh. When right. You, how about your friends? How do they react when you you say, oh, I can't talk now, I'm doing a puzzle? I, I kind of keep it secret. <laughs> <laughs> Many don't know about my little puzzle addiction. <laughs> Which is just fine with Steve Richardson. He loves being as hard to find as one of his trick puzzle pieces. Of hiding away up here, hardly anybody knows about us, uh, except our, you know, our really eccentric customers out there, and it's a blast. I'm having a blast. 